Hey y'all, my name is Ashley if you are new here and we're going to jump right into this video here. Just the other day or other week, I did a poll to see what video y'all wanted to see next and I appreciate all four of y'all for responding to my poll. I really do appreciate it. And as you can see, this video will be about Grand Theft Auto. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, Grand Theft Auto Vice City has always been number one for me. So in this video, I will show you how to make a Grand Theft Auto poster design using Adobe Illustrator. Now this is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna show you all my little tips and tricks to show you how to replicate that most iconic cover. So without further ado, let's hop right on in. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new file. I will change my width to 10 and height to 13, CMYK 300, and click on Create. Now grab your rectangle tool and make sure your stroke is set to none and your fill is set to a dark or a medium gray color and fill your background. And now make sure View Smart Guides is on because it will help you in the later steps. So create a new layer and I will name this layer text. Grab your type tool and here I'm going to start typing out grand and I will use the font price down. Make it big and change your fill to the color white. Keep repeating these same steps or you can just copy and paste and type out the other words theft and auto and arrange it like so. Select all of your text layers and copy and paste them and put this other one over to the side just in case you make a mistake. Now go to Object, Expand, and click OK. Well here I am going to take the word theft and move it up a bit. And then using my Direct Selection tool, Move these two points and kind of alter the text a bit so it looks more like the real thing. And I'm going to do the same thing to the letter N, but I'm going to delete these points. And then you also should um, view your rulers so that you can make sure the bottom of the letter N is leveled with the other side. And then, of course, click a point and drag it upward to the guide that you just placed. And I'm going to repeat these same steps for the letter H. And now here you can just remove your guides or delete them. And then I'm selecting the word auto. And now that I have this space, I can move the word auto up. Now select all of your text layers and go over to your pathfinder and combine the shapes. Now go up to object, compound path, make. And now we can add our black stroke. Increase the weight and make sure your align stroke is set to the outside. Now I'm gonna grab my type tool again and here I'm gonna type by city and I will be using the font Satari. I will go over to my swatches panel and change the fill to white. 
and arrange it or place it at the bottom of the word auto and decreasing my size here. And now we'll go up to object, transform, shear, and change the angle to 10 and the axis will be vertical. And now here I'm gonna add a stroke to my text here because I want it to be a bit thicker so that it looks more like the original GTA covers. Now go to edit copy and edit paste in place. Now on this one, I will apply a pink or a light pink stroke to, to create the outline. Because as everyone knows, the GTA covers, it's very much, you know, that Miami Vice, the pastels, the oranges, the pink. And then, of course, increase my stroke and I move my pink layer behind my first text layer. So from here, I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm going to create kind of like a little swooshy line or a curved line. And I will change my stroke of this one to white. And I'm basically repeating the same steps that I did for the word Vice City. And I will, of course, copy and paste and place this one. And I will use the light pink color for the stroke for this one as well. And now move this layer towards the back. Now copy your text and your curved line and edit paste in place. I will now change these fills and the stroke to black because this will be our little drop shadow. And then I will increase the weight just a bit and I will then move my shadow towards the back. Now I am going to select all of my text and move it over so that it's somewhat in the center. Now you can create a new layer and I will name this layer collage and lock your text layer. Use your pen tool and here we're going to create the shapes so that it looks like a really nice collage and fill them with black. And I will just speed this up here so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. First, I'm going to save my cover and or poster and open up your first image. I decided I'm going to go with this one for the first shape and I'm just deleting all the unnecessary stuff that I don't need like the background and all of the extra text. So select your entire image and go to object group and edit copy. Now paste it over into your document and resize it so that it fits about how you want it to be within the frame. In here, I'm going to rotate it. Now select your black layer and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Select this top black layer frame along with the image and go to object, clipping, mask, make. So now we have basically two layers here. We had, we still have our black shape layer and now we have our image, but now it basically has a mask and is clipped within that shape. Now select your original black layer and now you can change it to whatever color you want. So for this one, I chose a nice orange color 
Now I am opening up my hotel. And as you can see with this hotel, it's not in the same type of style that original Grand Theft Auto covers have with that black stroke and black outline. So I'm copying my image and I am gonna paste it over into Photoshop because I'm gonna show you an easy way to add like outlines to an image. So paste your vector file and I am going to rename my layer and duplicate it. Make sure your foreground and your background, the foreground is set to black and your background is set to white over in that left um, bottom toolbar. So go to filter, filter gallery. And from here, we're gonna select poster edges because we want that black outline. So here I'm using eight, eight and four for thickness, intensity and, and posterization. And now add a stamp layer and I will be using 25 and 5 for dark balance and smoothness. And then turn your top layer into multiply. Save as your layer. You can save it as a PSD. Now I'll pop back over into Illustrator here. And now we can file place this PSD that we just saved and arrange it how we would like it to fit over our second shape at the, from the top. So of course, repeat these same steps, edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And here I just double clicked inside because I wanted to uh, change around the arrangement of my file. And so here I'm gonna select my original black shape layer and I will actually apply a gradient to this one. So I'm changing my angle to 90 and I will take a, a dark blue and a light blue and just make that the gradient for the sky. And now you can basically repeat these same steps to fill out all of the rest of your shapes. And so I'm just speeding this up a bit so that you don't have to sit through each and every one. So for this particular one, I took off the text from the cop's uh, vest, but instead of adding the lines, I just decided to increase the brightness on this one because especially if I decide to print it, if I left it as is, the cop's face probably wouldn't be able to be seen. Finish out the rest of your poster with your vector images. And here I'm just filling the bottom portion with the color black. And then now I can finally select my background and change that dark gray color to black. And that is how you make a Grand Theft Auto poster design using Adobe Illustrator. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.